Hello and welcome to this new Composing with Opus Modus episode. Today we will compose a short piano study using the amazing counterpoint function from Opus Modus. As you will see, the counterpoint function works fairly well for pattern-based composition with powerful possibilities of processing and pattern development. For our small piano piece, we need few patterns. So, I declare a new variable named pattern swan. And create a coded list as a container for my patterns. Now I define two patterns for right hand in OMN notation. 16 F C Okay. G C and this will be fairly simple. Let's say it's my patterns one. Now the second pattern again based on 16 so it's called I forget one. Yeah. Okay, this is my second pattern. And uh, naturally, I can immediately uh, listen this pattern. This one. So, now I need two more patterns uh, for, um, who will be used for the left hand. So again, 16, D, 3. So, this is my pattern number three for left hand. Okay. And one more, again for left hand, another possibility. Pattern four. Just a small variation. And finally, a final pattern who can be used as a final gesture for our small composition. That's all. That will be the only material we will use for that composition, but you will see how we can develop it. So pattern five. Final gesture. 
Now I close the parenthesis and finally evaluate the full expression to have a look to our five patterns. Right hand, left hand, and final gesture. Okay, this is our pattern. Now we will use the counter point function to organize and process our pattern materials in a short composition. First, open a parenthesis and write the counter point function. Counter point. Now we specify to counter point function the pattern list we will use for this counter point. So this is our pattern list. So we say to counterpoint we will use the list name patterns one. And now let's do the dictum definition. A dictum is composed basically from pattern calls via index numbers. At first open a coded parenthesis. And now I will say for my first bar, right hand will play pattern number one, this one. So I say this is the first bar. Uh, I could give it a number like that. It's possible, it's a kind of comment. And I say my first bar will play for right hand the pattern one and the left hand will play the pattern three. That's all. Let's continue a bit for few bars. So let's say the second bar will play pattern two and pattern three, again pattern one and three, and again pattern two for right hand and three for left hand. Now we can already listen this short composition start. Uh, I can just close this parenthesis, add an index name. I will say opus modus the counterpoint function will output voice variables uh, with a V uh, name, so V1 and V2, because they have two instruments, right hand and left hand, and close the counterpoint. I can just evaluate this counterpoint function, evaluate the expression. And as you can see, opus modus output v1 and v2 according to index name. Now we want to listen this short composition. So we can just use preview score. I output to my Vienna Symphonic Library template, but you could use GM for general MIDI. I said just, uh, I, I have a piano and it will play v1 and v2 for right hand and left hand my tempo will be 92 and i don't want clear change according to the tessiture so i set flexible play on nil just to don't have a key change Okay, and uh, now we can listen this short counterpoint immediately by evaluate uh, this expression. Okay, uh, bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. Okay, uh, now let's develop a bit our composition. We will use now some methods to process our patterns. The default method said for opus modus is defined here. 
this is the unfold set OM. Unfold set in opus modus uh, is a kind of shortcut definition of method. For example, T1 mean it will work on pitch and will transpose from one uh, the pitch. And so uh, so you have many, many uh, pattern, uh, many, many um, method uh, in this set, but you could also define your own if you did. So here we have, for example, pattern rotation, um, chord uh, variants, uh, retrograde inversion, retrograde inversion, and ascending order, descending order, ascending uh, and descending, uh, many, many uh, possibility, density, quantization, and articulation change, many possibilities. So let's use uh, these possibilities of variation. I will uh, again add few patterns, but now process by method. So I copy and paste this one. And let's say, so that's my bar five. Uh, again, I play pattern one and three, but now I'm just add methods and I will say my right hand will be transposed from two semitone and my uh, uh, left hand will be also transposed by two semitones. So this is my bar five and uh, I will extend a bit my composition with one more bar bar six uh, now we'll play pattern two and pattern four but the transposition this time will be just from one semiton for right hand and one semiton for left hand bar seven again pattern one and three but let's use a bit of different processing uh, now i will use a transposition of four but i want to use also a retrogradation on the right hand so i can encapsulate this into parentheses and give it two methods first the transposition of four semitone and second the retrogradation and again for the left hand same technique transpose four semitone and retrogradation it's my bar seven let's do the bar eight no play pattern two and pattern four and this time transposition of 12 semiton but using inversion for right hand and also 12 semiton with inversion for bar eight bar nine use unison of pattern three for left hand for right hand sorry and three for left hand transposition of six but no we will use another method pitch rotate three a rotation of three pitch in the list and a different transposition for the left hand minus nine semitone with a rotation of only one pitch. Now the bar 10. Uh, 
we'll use patterns two and three with a different method so again transposition but now I will use a sort ascending and descending sort of the pitch list for the right hand and for the left hand transposition minus four semitone and descending and ascending order bar 11 again basic pattern one and three right and transposition four but a retrograde inversion of all parameters, retrograde all, and left hand transposition to retrograde all. A little bit more processing for bar 12. Bar 12 will use pattern 2 and 4. And for the right hand, we'll use transposition of 8 semitone, but a retrograde inversion of the pattern 2. And for the left hand, a transposition of 6 and a retrograde inversion of the pattern. Now a bit again of rotation and we will finish soon our small composition. Bar 13 will use one pattern one and pattern three and just use rotation as a pitch rotation as a process. So for the right on pitch rotation of two and left hand pitch rotation of four. A bit of transposition for the bar 14. We will do a 16 compo bar composition. So bar 14 is pattern two, pattern four method will be transposition 2 for right hand, transposition 4 for left hand, pattern 15, we'll use, it's the end of the song, pattern 1, pattern 3, kind of thematic uh, basic thematic material return with no method so the original uh, pattern will be used here and finally the last bar for our small composition the bar 16 we will it will use the pattern 5, the last one, we define here the final gesture uh, in unison for both ends, but uh, with a bit of transposition. Uh, so for right hand, we will use no transposition, but for left hand, minus 12 transposition. and nothing more so we we finish our composition just let review so we use the pattern pattern one two three four five here the number for pattern and here the method for to apply uh, to this pattern the index uh, number 
Opus Modus will use this name, the index name. Uh, Opus Modus will use this name to output some two variables because we have two instruments. And we can use the result of these two variables as voices. Uh, with preview score, we output a score for piano and we pass to piano for right hand the voice one and for left hand the voice two with a tempo of 92. So let's evaluate my counterpoint. Opus modus do the calculation, output the two variables, and now let's listen it. That's all for today.